I'm going to close out today's show with the amazing 11-year-old students from Eastview School in Illinois. These kids have produced yet another entertaining and informative segment on Key West. After studying about the island in school, they decided to have a little fun with their research. Their teacher, Paul Hart, kept expressing how great it was to see the amount of passion they put into their work. It definitely shows in today's video. Enjoy. Not quite live from the gem of the Fox River Valley, Algonquin, Illinois, USA, it's Good Morning Eastview. Starring Sir Smokey the Dog. Cool. Featuring the research space full of rigor news team. And now, ready, steady, go! It's Good Morning Eastview. Good morning, Eastview. I mean, Florida Keys. I'm Lucas. And I'm Gwen. Welcome back to the only way to get localized info at this time of the morning on this specific channel. And speaking of localized icons, welcome back our own Sir Smokey the Dog. <laughs> Thanks, team. <laughs> Today, we are going to take a look at one of the most unknown facts about the American Civil War. And that is Key West's role in the Civil War. With more on this, let's travel back to the 1830s, Key West, Florida. Ripple dissolve! Around 1830, many of the residents of Key West were immigrants from the Bahamas. We caught ourselves cocks. We live here during the Civil War. I hear the United States was deciding about slavery being right or wrong and just which states could own slaves. The southern states needed them, their slaves, to work on the huge plantations. So the southern states broke away and formed their own country called the Confederate States of America where people could own slaves. Key West needed to be defended as a southernmost port. Many slaves were brought in to be rented for construction of the fort. In the 1840s, the slave population increased 653%. Most locals were sympathetic to the South, and many flew Confederate flags over their homes anyway. So Florida seceded from the United States and joined the Confederate States of America. Everyone thought Key West would be Confederate as well. Key West remained in U.S. Union hands because of the naval base. Right, Captain Brennan? I took possession of the city while it slept. Key West played a major role during the war because of its location. It could stop and capture Confederate boats. Over 300 Confederate blockade runner ships run into Key West Harbor. As a fisherman, I recall that Key West became the main center for the Union, stopping Confederate ships and ships from other countries. They were seized and hailed. We was building forts. Fort Zachary Taylor was built from 1845 to 1866, that being an outrageous Key West outpost during the Civil War. It saw no action, but we was glad it was there. 70 miles off Key West, Fort Jefferson was on Garden Key in the Tortugas. It was the largest brick fortification the U.S. had. Over 40 million bricks were used for its construction, and each spread over 16 acres. 109 water cisterns were built for about 1.5 million gallons of water. Even more construction began in 1861 on two other forts, the East and West Martello Towers which served as side armories and batteries for the larger fort, and it was supposed to stop any land attacks. The Matello Towers were connected to Fort Taylor by railroad tracks for movement of guns and ammunition. There is a story that Major Arnold told about the only encounter he had. 
A Confederate ship had entered the harbor in Key West and demanded the fort surrender. He kindly replied to the Confederate messenger. Tell your captain I will blow his ship out of the water if he is not gone for near 10 minutes. My bluff worked and Fort Jefferson never fired a gun during the war. The Civil War was largely responsible for Key West becoming Florida's largest city. Key West profited where other southern cities were being reduced to rubble. The American Civil War began on Friday, April 12, 1861 and ended on Tuesday, May 9, 1865. Many Cubans moved to Key West during Cuba's unsuccessful War for Independence in the 1860s and 1870s. By 1889, Key West was the largest and wealthiest city in Florida. All because of salt harvesting, the cigar-making industry, and wreckers salvaging shipwrecks, Key West was a thriving, money-making community. See the sun? Just for today, that sun rose only for me. And that's the way I look at it. This is my sun, my day. And I'm going to make the most out of it. I don't know where I got that idea from, but I've been using that for years. That I just make believe that just for today, the sun rises only for me and shows me the light of day. The best of every day, I think. Um you know, I'm, I'm just very happy when I wake up. The fact that I did wake up, there's a lot of people didn't wake up today. I try to plan, but I try to plan with flexibility in mind. I have to remember to take things one day at a time. Otherwise, I get really overwhelmed. I just, I guess, I take a Paxil in the morning and everything's all right. <laughs> you don't want to hear that, do you? Find your own state of mind. Chart your own journey. Find your own personal paradise. Be the best that you are best at. about it for Good Morning East. I mean, Florida Keys this week, I'm Lucas. For all the morning crew here at 540 Longwood Drive, I'm Gwen. And for everyone here on the early morning shift, have a great day. Hey.